Okay, we're here at the 60th annual Porsche Parade in beautiful French Lick, Indiana. And we've just wrapped up a day of the Concours, saw some beautiful cars, but a specific car caught my eye. I'm a Turbo Look owner. For those of you that know Turbo Looks, they're the M491 option vehicle. But that's not what's rare about this car. This car is even more rare than a 491. So now I'm gonna let Rick and Lori talk about why this car is rare. So Rick, you wanna give us maybe the beginning story and then Lori, you'll finish up with what's it doing today. Very good. The, this car was commissioned by Peter Schutz, that then president of Porsche, AG, and he thought if a man could take uh, his Porsche and tailor it to what he was doing, like uh, any other type of sports equipment. If he was going out for the evening, if he was driving the car in inclement weather, if he wanted a convertible, if he was going to race it on the weekend. And wouldn't it be fun if he could have all those different options on his car, and even if he didn't buy them initially, maybe someone, a, a, a wife or whatever, could buy him so he could option it up to fit all these different things that you might want to do with the car. The ultimate wish list is what you're trying to put together and making a car that you can use for various purposes. We talk about how you can use a Porsche every day and here's an excellent example of making it from a daily driver to a track car to a day where you just want to take it out and show it on display at a Concours, right? Correct. So there are a lot of unique items on this car. Like I said, I, I own a Turbo Look as well and this car has a lot of items that do not <laughs> that is not included on my car. So let's just turn around here and take a look, obviously, at the windshield cowl. Now this pays homage to the early Porsche race cars. And now this is a, a cabriolet from the beginning, and then it was modified. Now what isn't there is probably what's the most interesting. A-pillars are missing, the little window winglet here is missing. Um, very unique mirrors that I, I gotta believe doesn't exist on any other Porsche but the way that this car can be converted back to a quote-unquote standard cabriolet that's possible with this car so tell me how that's done. So that's done by taking this windshield off and the mirrors come off with it it's just two, two um, bolts that you have to undo and then there's another windshield there's actually two windshields there's a speedster style windshield which this was the, that was the inspiration. The 356 Speedster was the inspiration for this. And then also a coupe level windshield, and then also a hardtop. So this can go out, as it did when it was driven in Germany, as a full 911 coupe. So if you were to put it back together in stock configuration, those that don't, you know, that don't have a sharp eye probably would not know how special this car is. But obviously when you put it into this configuration, wow, it's, it's very dramatic. So aside from the aesthetics of the front windshield, the, um, the, the Speedster rake and the, all of the accessories that go along with it, are the underpinnings of this car factory as a turbo look or is it, has it been modified underneath as well? It's factory stock turbo look, but the rumor is that it has a family engine in it. A family engine, hmm. Which, those, the rumor always was that those engines that exceeded expectations power-wise were set aside for special customers. And so who, who knows if that's, if that's Who knows? Well, I mean, again, a turbo look Cabriolet is already a very rare vehicle. Add into the special features of this car, and now you're telling me as a family engine, this is one of a kind, right? It's definitely one of a kind. That's what we call it. We call it the Speedster prototype. Wow, that's amazing. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed seeing this car. We have hundreds of other wonderful Porsches here on display at the 60th Annual Porsche Parade.